Welcome back to the Retro Shed. Uh, Josh is back with me today. Yes. Back in his my seat is his seat that Dean kindly uh, took off me. So <laughs> I did take it off you. <laughs> anyway, right on Friday, uh, one of the Kickstarter projects that we are backers of came to fruition, and we've been really eager to get our hands on this game. And it was the launch of Hyper Sentinel. Uh, by Huey Games. Stickers all over the roof. Yeah, we got loads of stickers now. <laughs> uh, who you may have actually heard of, uh, because that was the name for Hewson Consultants back in the day. So, if you don't already know, Hyper Sentinel is a retro-inspired arcade shooter where you fly along the surface of an alien base, blasting everything that moves. Yeah. Or doesn't move for that matter. Just shoot everything, don't yeah. you? It's been described as a love letter to old-school arcade action and the computer shoot -em up of the 1980s. Yeah. Now, it's a far cry from 80s visuals. Although retro-pixel-inspired, this game flies along at 60 frames per second with 4K resolution on the PC, the PS4, the Xbox One, Steam and Nintendo Switch. Now, mm. the game is heavily inspired from Houston's excellent 8-bit blaster from the 80s uh, called Euridium, and it's pretty much a spiritual successor to Euridium, to be fair. Now, as soon as you look at the game and hear those Sid-inspired music tracks, you're instantly taken back to the days of the C64 and the Spectrum. Yeah. And for older gamers, such as him, this is not a bad thing at all. No, not a bad thing at all. Hewson Consultants were founded by Andrew Hewson in the early 80s, and they brought us such wonderful games back in the day, such as Euridium, obviously, Paradroid, Nebulous, and Cybernoid. You've played Cybernoid on the Amstrad. Have it's I? brilliant. Yes, you have. Okay. The original company closed its doors in 1991, and some of the team went on to find, found, not find, found, 21st Century Entertainment, who, of course, brought us Pinball Dreams and Pinball Fantasies on the Amiga. Houston Consultants were reformed in 2013 and launched a Kickstarter campaign for a book to be written by Andrew Houston, actually, about his experiences in the gaming industry. Houston Consultants were also heavily involved with Graftgold, who coded many of their titles with Andrew Braybrook. Did you know that Andrew Braybrook actually coded Iridium on the C64 back yes, in the day? Yes, I did know that, actually, yes. Now, the game absolutely has the look and feel of a classic shooter, yes. and if you have ever played Iridium, mm -hmm. this is literally that game it's with brilliant. a few bells and whistles in it. Actually, quite a lot of bells and a whistles. A lot of bells and whistles thrown in, yeah. yeah. The game is an absolute joy to play. As your ship flies across the surface of these massive alien fortresses, you simply move your craft up and down as your ship flies, and you always stay in the central axis of your screen. But you can change direction of travel at any time, and your ship forms this really cool flip, just like it did in Iridium back in the day, oh, wow. which was one of the coolest things I ever saw on the Commodore 64, the way that ship just flips over. The idea is to to destroy all land and air targets and once these have been taken out you're faced with a huge boss called a guardian can i just stop there yeah which are always unfair because that's what retro gaming they're not super. Do you know what? They're very interesting gardeners because each one, each one is slightly different. These guardians can take the form of multiple target flying craft, right down to huge stationary defense guns and turrets. There are some cool power ups to collect, and I especially love the flying flailing mace thing that flies around your ship, blowing stuff up. That's particularly cool. Very good vocabulary there. Thank you. Once you've flown back and forth and inflicted enough damage to the level the, and the boss, the entire dreadnought thing explodes and you go on to the next level. Yes, now, there are some cool modes of play that enhance the visuals, There's, if that's the yeah. right word, as they apply a filter that can make the game look very old school. Yeah, proper. There is Commodore 64 mode, Spectrum mode, and CRT modes if you want an authentic trip back to the 80s. <laughs> I nearly Who said, doesn't want an authentic trip? I nearly trip. said autistic trip then. <laughs> <laughs> Nautistic trip to the 80s. <laughs> no thanks. You can fight out amongst yourselves as to whether the C64 or the Specky mode is best. Fight! Ding ding ding! 
Each of these modes plays respect to both of those machines, with a reduced single colour palette for the Specky and a more colourful, if somewhat brown, look to the C64. <laughs> both modes feature an authentic CRT blurry filter to the graphics. Proper old school. It is proper old school. It does look like you're playing the game, not on a 4K TV, but a really dusty old colour TV from the 80s, yes. which is just great. Now, looking at some of the reviews the past 24 hours or so, oh, the God. game has taken a bit of stick over its repetitiveness, and some have said it gets dull quickly as you keep having to repeat the same thing over and over. Plus the lack of levels. There are 12 levels, I think, but I'm not having any of this, to be honest with you. This is a retro game. If you think this game is repetitive, perhaps you're missing the point. Defender, Tempest, Robotron, Asteroids, they're all brilliant shooters, but you wouldn't call them repetitive? Of course they're repetitive. They're retro games. But that's what Hyper Sentinel is. It's a retro shooter, and it delivers as well. If you think this is repetitive, you're missing the point of a <laughs> retro-inspired shooter, and this may not be for you. There are three different play modes, Arcade, Survival, and Boss, yeah. although these don't offer much in the way of variety in the gameplay. Though they are worthy addition to the game. They are, yeah. Do you know what? Personally, I love it. I think it's great. I'm a huge he fan. He came addicted to it. I think this morning, this morning? Yeah, um, no. Saturday morning, I got out of bed, I was about to make myself some breakfast. Hey, Josh, look at this! Yeah, I was well, already on it. He's like, yeah. I was like, he's like, <laughs> like, I'm half asleep, and he's like, do you want to go? like, yeah. Just, I'm playing Hyper Sentinel before he's addicted, out of bed. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of horizontal shooters, as some of you know, and this game delivers exactly what I wanted to see. It's a quick pick up and play shooter in the style of days gone by. It does what it sets out to do, and I'm happy to have backed it. I'm not disappointed in it at all. I'm not biased. If it was rubbish, I'd say it was rubbish. It's not. I think it's really, really good. There's no waiting to log on. There's no creating an account. There's no, no DLC. Action. There's no loot boxes. No, you pay for it and you play it. And that can only be a good thing. If it's not, if this isn't for you, perhaps you should be playing God of War. The game is available now for Xbox, Steam, Switch, and PS4 for eleven ninety nine. Which isn't bad. This is how we got an earlier hyper sensor. Yes, take a look at this. Come at me. Right, Josh is playing. Come at me. Josh won't let me play. No. Too good. Why were you singing the Celine Dion Titanic oh, theme earlier? Oh, I don't know. I sat in front of like the uh, air conditioning. And it was like, it was oh, making my hair blow all around, right, like it so felt like Jack in the Sea. Right, so you started singing... I can't even remember the name of this tune. Anyway, this is Hyper Sentinel, not Titanic. Which one's left one? It's very in your face. I will say it's very in your face. There's a lot going on. Yeah, it is very... It's a bit of a sensory overload, I will say that. You've just cleared the first level. Yeah, I know. Well done. I like it. Do you know, I like the visuals. I think the visuals are fabulous. Yeah, I think the visuals are good. Yeah, they're very. I um, think for a it's a bit like it reminds me of um, what's it called Polybius, doesn't it? Yeah, Polybius is a completely different style of game, but the the visual style is similar, isn't it? A blocky, retro kind of like mm. graphics. I love the music as well. It's very Commodore sixty four SID chip type stuff. Everyone right now. You are, you're doing alright, eh? A right trigger speeds your ship up. You could have told me that when we started! Sorry! You, you just, you don't tell me anything! You don't speak to me! So, yes, this oh, Guardian, God, no, these, these, these floating things take a fair bit of hitting, actually. Don't fly into them, they'll take your energy down. Uh, oof. We should just do stationary shooting. This is kind of like the closest you can really get. Why are they going yeah, green? Yeah, you can't keep still, Why are they can green? you? Because you've taken their shields down, so you've got to blow them up. Ah. Now. Incidentally, next weekend, revival. it's revival. We'll be there. It's been uh, almost a year. What, since Manchester? No, since we saw it. Yeah. Yes, it was, you're right. It's if last, you don't know what I'm last doing, summer. Guys, if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm just healing up. Get my health regenerate before I attack him again. There we go. Level two. Mm. Well done. Get destroyed. Can I have a go? No. <laughs> right, is it repetitive? No. Well, it's a little bit, but I like how every level is different. Ooh, I thought you were dead then. I'm too good. 
god, look at this. <laughs> it's blowing up then. <laughs> What's that? Hard -hard. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just spamming, hoping to kill stuff. Oh, there's a guy. Ah! Come here. Oh! There! Oh. Whoa! Oh, I love that weapon. It's great. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeet! So that's the oh that's the Astro Mace, I think it's called. Yo. It just flares oh. around. Bloody, I need to die then. No, it's not very fair. Well, the way your ship's got lights as well. Look, see where it flies over the surface. You see the way it lights up the surface of the. Uh, oh, yeah. the I dreadnought. love how you're noticing things like that, but um. Graphical, wait. graphical things. Yeah, I'm just trying to kill these geezer. So worth eleven ninety nine. Yeah, it's not bad, is it, for eleven ninety nine? Why is there smoke coming? No! Out? Oh dear! <laughs> oh, this is the one you couldn't get off. Yeah, he's a bit mental, isn't he? Stop sweating. Dad's a sweat. Oh, that was fair. <laughs> Dad, you're a sweat bag. I can't wait to look at him. Oh. Look at my trophy I've left! Oh no! <laughs> Laugh it up, kid. Oh god. That was it reminds, our... it reminds you when you get into a Fortnite match and you and you're in a battle with someone and then they're on one percent health. That's what it reminds me of. Oh now you feel me. I know how you feel. I'm not raging though. When they're on like one percent health when you're like mm. Yeah, but do you see me raging? No. No. I don't really rage anymore. <laughs> I just go I just go for God's sake. <laughs> oh, I did that really annoying Welsh accent. That Stop. is. That kind of thing. That yeah. was our look at Hyper Sentinel. Yes, Thank it you was. for joining us, and don't forget to catch us. Oh, next weekend, we are at Revival. Riverville. Uh, we're at Revival 2018 uh, in Warsaw. Uh, we are really looking forward to that, and I'm sure we're going to grab lots of really cool footage from that Can event. Can we turn the TV off? That's really annoying me. <laughs> That's really annoying me. We'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Wave to the camera, Josh. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Should we play Aliens vs Predator now? What do you want to play? Aliens vs Predator. Yeah. Let's play some more. Yes, now the game is available now for Xbox, Steam, Switch, and PS4 for eleven ninety nine. Which isn't bad. This is how we got on earlier as Hyper Sentinel. Yes, take a look at this. Wow. Lovely. Be careful. Little red button.